Hey everyone, it is Natalie from Being Intentionally Creative and if you saw my last video, I just wanted to update you because I'm hoping you laughed with me through parts of that video because, well, you would have seen if you'd watched it that some things went sideways. One of the things I commented on was making sure that if you're taping something that you have whatever you're using plugged in. In this video, my camcorder is plugged in so I don't have to worry about battery on this one. Also with my last one I had issues with my polyurethane because I poured way too much and then it just went. It just went, it went, it went. Anyway this time I'm gonna be okay because I know exactly how much this mold needs. We are going to do the Christmas tree mold. I am going to do it in blues. I have someone who loves dark, dark blue as a Christmas color. So I want to see what I can do as far as getting that dark blue. I am going to do what I did with my last piece in that I have mixed in a bunch of different colors here along the blue line, including interference blue because I had done some of the eye candy glimmer ghost red I think it was in one of my trees and if you catch it at just the right angle it looks really cool so I want to try the interference blue I I've got some eye candy product I've got some let's resin product and we're just going to see what we can do so I'm going to quickly take you through the colors I'm going to use and then sort of my thought process when I mix up my polyurethane which I have already got I haven't mixed it it's just poured Okay, so we're going to start with the Let's Resin Glitter Power Sapphire Blue. I want to get some of the sparkle in this from the start. And all I'm going to do is, this is a cup I'm going to end up mixing my polyurethane in. So I figured it doesn't matter if the glitter's in this, whatever I don't use. And I'm going to use this brush just to take some of that sparkle and we're just going to dab it in wherever and I and I kind of thinking as I'm sitting here I don't have gold for my star but you know what that's okay because I have something we're sort of going to do after that for the star or can do for the star so it being blue isn't going to be a huge deal to me I hope I guess we'll find out I, I have ways of coloring it if it should have been uh, gold as opposed to you know a shade of blue so we're just randomly putting this in here it, it's interesting because this glitter powder went into my previous piece sort of in a more cool way I feel like I'm getting uh, too much of it in some spots but you know what that's okay we're not looking for perfection here are we we've learned not to aim for that so we'll just do a little bit more glitter sort of up toward the top Okay, so I'll leave that to that. What am I using for my colors? Well, I mentioned I am using the Interference Blue by Let's Resin. I am using Dark Blue by Let's Resin. Put that off to the side. I am using Parisian Purple by Eye Candy, Blue Orchid by Eye Candy, and Flashing Dark Blue. And I can't remember where I got this from, but in any ways, we're using those. And I have out the Sumu Sumi Black by Eye Candy as well, because I thought I wanted to mix that in to give the background more of a dark, a darker color to see if I can't make it the true sort of blue I want. I've sort of mixed these up a little bit, but not a lot. And so all we're going to do is we're going to just pounce it in there. And then we're just going to do the blue. And I won't worry. I'll leave it out of my star if at all possible. And then we'll just pounce this in. So we get a variety of color in this. Because I, I like that, how it's been working out for me doing that. And then we're going to do a sort of an interesting, I've been working with the Peebo colors. I got a package of some different type of Peebo products a while ago and I've been using them on the trees and it's doing a really cool uh, job on them. So I want to do some more of that. 
uh, using this tree as an example. So we'll see how this all, and all I'm doing is I'm just pouncing this in here and then pouncing it into my tree to get that blue in here. And I thought if we had any left when I got done, then we would just put this into the, the resin too. Right, and just you know, get light colors and mix it all in together and see what we can can do. I like this makeup brush because it it's not harsh in getting into the mold, and it blends the colors really really well for me, or at least I feel it does. It's amazing how much I'm getting on the sides there versus <laughs> the uh, other side. Now, I don't know if where you live, you have a lot of flies. I Being in the country, okay, I know I have to accept that, you know, flies are a thing. I tell you, I feel like I, I get them all, and then all of a sudden, there's more, and they follow you. I don't know if you've noticed this, but flies will follow you. Oh, and it's annoying, because they get right, base, it's like they get right in your face. And it's like, can you just seriously... Can you, can you kind of back off? Okay, so I want to just move some of this around. Yeah, so I've been dealing with flies. And, uh, yeah, it just drives me nuts some days how in, like, they're just there. All right. All right. Okay, so got quite a bit of blue in that. Just gonna dab a little bit more even though when they say less is more I just want to make sure I've sort of got everywhere this blue of some sort right all right now put that down put that down so I just want to give you a little bit of a look of that okay now part of the reason yeah, like I said, I'm going to put some black in with the, the resin because I think I'm going to need it. This mold, when I got it, I had mentioned that it is it's sloped toward the bottom of it. So when I'm pouring my resin into it, I'm getting it thicker down here. Now, again, I don't know if that was part of their plan is like, let's, you know, make it so it drains down to the bottom. I don't know. However, I took one of my scrapers and all I've done is just like when I've done a couple of, I've just pushed it about that far underneath and it's just enough to hold it up so it's not pooling down at this end and so I just kind of want to line it up to the best of my ability okay now what I'm thinking is I want I'm going to mix some black in here I'm going to end up putting let's just knock it in here and I probably should get, you know, I don't think it's going to matter. I'll just pour the, I'm going to end up pouring the resin in here and then pouring it in so that, because it's so much easier to pour with these things, especially when you're dealing with this polyurethane. I'm going to put a little bit of black in that and I'll pour B in it first. I like mixing my mica powders with B. So let me get a little bit of black. As, as I say, I'm trying to get like a, dark dark blue almost navy blue and I I don't know if anyone has a mica powder out there that has a navy blue I might look to see if I candy doesn't have a really deep dark blue because I would like a deep dark blue and if I was working with regular resin I'd probably put in some of my uh, translucent blue by Elimolite so I'm gonna put that black in I don't know let me just sort of mix this up a little bit. I know, it's probably not enough black in that. I'm trying to think what I can kind of mix it with. Like I say, I'm kind of going for a navy blue here. I don't want I don't want a light blue. I want a dark blue. So I'm going to take a little bit more black and put it in here. And then I'm going to get a more of my darkest blue that we have over here which definitely isn't that one the blue orchid ok 
Okay, so that's fairly dark, but so is the blue orchid. So I'm trying to think, and my Persian purple. You know what? I'm going to go with the Persian purple. There you go. Decision made. It just, yeah, it's just getting the color the way I want it. Again, it's a, sometimes it's a hit and miss with stuff like this. But as I say, I'm hoping the black will, will help out with that. So that's probably enough. Let me just gonna get these guys to, I figure if they mix together a little bit before I put in my resin, that'll probably be a good thing. Okay. All right, not looking too, too bad. All right, let me get this stuff <coughs> off to the side. We will pour our part B. And I'm thinking about my star and wondering, do I want to put some gold on that? And I'm trying to think if I have a gold very handy to me. That would be the gold I want. Yeah, let me let me just go grab my gold. And s because I, I would really like, I think, to have a gold star. I've been putting gold on everything, so it's one of those, why would we stop now? There, we'll just use the golden by Let's Resin. Just so we can have a gold star. And I'll get my small brush. Put that over here we don't want to spill definitely don't want to spill that because you know you saw how much I wasted the last time what if what a fiasco that was I mean really yeah I couldn't believe it oh but I got through it and then I watched before I posted the video I watched the whole thing even though I just because I'd had issues and I thought you got to make sure this is you know, all lining up the way it needs to, because if it doesn't, it's going to look cheesy, but yeah. What, what a video. What a video. Moving on. Moving on. Okay, let's put this Part B in here, and then we'll mix it up. I kind of wish I hadn't done that, but anyway. Should have used a clean stick in here, but that's okay. All right, be in here and let's mix this, this stuff up. And, uh, hopefully I can show you the color. Now, obviously I know this is gonna, you know, sort of go paler but I'm hoping with having put the blue on here plus the blue in here which hopefully you can see it's fairly dark that it does I mean this would definitely be better if I used two part epoxy I I know that let's clean that off and then yeah, I mean, it looks a really pretty blue right now. Maybe not as dark as I would like it to be, but a very pretty blue. Yeah, I think I'll maybe check out Eye Candy and see if they don't have like a dark uh, navy, a navy blue. It's one of those things, right? You, you have a color and it's like, I want that color. And then you can, I mean, you can try and build it on your own for sure. Anyway, I hope you're having a great week so far. And that you're being creative. Because you know what I think about creativity. And I love knowing people are being creative. Because that would be cool. And I wonder what the weather's doing in your world. Has it been a good weather week for you? I my pond out the back of my house is still kind of there even though it's technically I don't have a pond um, when we get a lot of a lot of rain it pools in one section and yeah we've been getting a lot of rain and I think I've mentioned that to you already 
Okay, so I'm going to try and carefully do this without... See, I don't like when it does that. I don't like when it does that. Okay, so let's just do this this way. Because, oh, sure, plum fairies. See, it's getting the better of me. Off camera, I can pour this without any issue. <laughs> On camera, apparently I can't pour. So let me try it this way. This is getting warmer. I find that when you put mica powders in something in this stuff, it tends to set up quicker. And then I'm, well, what I'm really trying to do is I'm getting it into all the spots. And I've sort of just made enough. I gotta get this out. I don't want any holes in this. I really don't. I guess I needed to make just a little bit more than what I have. But we'll kind of look at this as being a bit of a test piece. Oh, get out. My container is being <laughs> challenging. I love it. All right. So I'm just going to make sure I've got resin everywhere and all the little crooks and crannies and whatnot. So it looks good from that perspective. As I say, always be careful. If you get sticky resin on, that you make th sure things detach from you. So you're not accidentally, potentially throwing stuff around. I'm just going to take my lighter and go over some of these air bubbles because I don't want them... I had done one piece where I actually ended up with a hole in it, but part of that was because I had not gotten resin everywhere. And I mean, you have more time with regular resin. You don't really have it with this. So it is starting to set up, so that's fine. It pouring it in there, it's a pretty blue. I'm gonna I still have not made this piece using two part epoxy. I really should because then I could definitely get some of the deeper colors I want. However, having said that, I'm finding that where I sort of have a white background, it's they're coming out really pretty. I'm gonna when we go to do our next step after this has set with the Peebo product, the ones I've made so far, if you haven't been to my Facebook page to see them, uh, because they are t they're turning out really cool and the white looks looks nice I like how I can still burst bubbles on this anyway all right so this is going to set for about 15 20 minutes and then we are going to come back and we will carry on from there I'll see you in a bit this piece has been sitting for longer than 10 minutes it's been a bit of time probably about an hour what we're going to do now is we're going to take it out but before we do that keep it in suspense for a few seconds i just want to show you the four i've done so far so this was one of the first ones i had done where i was in implementing different colors to try and do different things with it and then i started playing over here you can see i got some pink on this and i was trying to play with it a little bit and then i took one of my silver chrome markers over top of it and it just it, it was becoming a bit of a play piece for me I, i'm trying to find different products that will do a really nice job on these this is the next one i have done and i'm sort of looking at this as being my gothic christmas tree because of the red that i used and that's a peebo and i'm not sure i'm saying that right pbo product of the red and then I think I put the gold I put gold underneath first and then I put the red on top and I should have done it the other way around of doing the red and then the gold because then it would pop more and then I put these little crystals on here I almost would have preferred if I put black on there just to kind of I wanted to see what they would look like and I don't like how they look so I wouldn't do that again not on something that I was trying to make look gothic or Halloweenish. This one, I love this one. Love, love, love this one. I like the con like the colors of the green contrasting a little lighter in some places than others. 
and then putting the gold on top of it. I mean, I think this came out absolutely stunning. It is vintage in my mind and it just, this is a beautiful piece. When I was finished with this, I was really happy with it. Again, using polyurethane as the resin. And I seriously, I want to do one with just regular resin to see what I can come up with. But I do, I do love that one. This is the next one I did. And when I originally did this one, I had put gold mica powder in the polyurethane and it gave it sort of this nice creamy color, but it wasn't doing it for me. I just, I couldn't wrap my head around it. I thought, you know, you need more. And what I ended up doing was I used one of the PBO uh, Primson color, and this is turquoise. And I did it first, you know, just using a regular paintbrush to apply the product and just ran like, when I say randomly, I, you know, started at the top and I worked my way down to the bottom. I got some of it everywhere. And then I went over with one of their silvers just to sort of give it. And I tell you what a difference this has made to this piece because before it was just sort of a, a beigey color with some of the eye candy. And I'm not sure if we're going to be able to pick it up for you, but one of their glimmer ghost, I put glimmer ghost red in this. Uh, and I mean, of course I can see it cause I can get on the right reflection. I, I can see the reflection now. I'm not sure if you can, it's subtle. It's just subtle, but it's there. But now that I've added those colors, I think it looks stunning the way it is. The other thing I want to see if I could do, because if I was going to give these as gifts to somebody, I wondered if I could put two of them together. And they seem to fit relatively well. I mean, it's not a, it's not a perfect match, but you could do one, one color. And on the other side, you got a different color. Again, I'm all over. I want something on both sides. It drives me nuts when there's not. And so I go, I go beyond and I see what I can do. And then if you, I want to make a stand for these. So if you had a stand to put these in, and then you could put it on a table anywhere and you're going to have something on both sides. That's, that's why I'm so into doing that. I sort of had the idea and it came to me because the person I'm thinking of for this one also loves the color gold. And so I thought, well, what if I do a blue one and then I do a gold one, right? So that's where I'm going with that. Again, I'm, constantly going to be looking for ways I can put things together. Let's see how this looks. And I know I'm going to get glitter all over myself and I'm going to have to do a really good job cleaning this off because of, you know, I got everything everywhere. So let's just take it out. I'm probably going to be really happy that I did the gold on the star and didn't leave it. So let's just get this out. It reminds me, so if when you look at this, if you kind of it almost looks like a dress. I like that aspect. I love this mold. Again, it's another one of those. I don't know about anyone else, whether you fall in love when you, you find a mold, but this would have to be another one of those that I just, I love. I love the mold. And I think it has a lot of, a lot of opportunity to do a lot of different things with it. So here we are. This, I'm pleased, turned out a darker blue than I thought it was going to. I really didn't think, but I would like to hope that putting the black in the polyurethane definitely helped because it's, it's a pretty blue. Is it as dark as I would like it to do? No, it isn't. However, it, it's pretty anyway, pretty anyway. Okay. So now I'm, I am looking at just to see for sparkle because of the let's resin uh, glitter we put in and it's not it's not showing up as much or as well as I would have hoped it would. And I guess that's okay. I mean, what am I going to do unless I add something to it? So here's kind of my thought process. And what I'm going to do is because again, this is one of those pieces I can play with. I don't have to, I mean, it's a, it's a test run, right? So yeah, I am glad that the uh, star is gold. I think I would have been disappointed if I had not done that. 
Okay, now I kind of wish I'd mixed these up, but I'm going to do that really quickly. I also, I wear gloves with these things because I don't know what chemicals are in them. They have a bit of a strong scent to them. And it's not really a scent, it's strong. And the other thing with this product is, I, I look back at the directions I have, but I believe you need something like a turpentine to clean this out of your brushes. For me, all I've been doing so far is cleaning it on my paper towels. Having said that, if you don't clean your brush out properly, it will get hard and it will keep some of the other colors in your brush. Um, I've been dealing with that, but I just wanted to point that out to you. So as much as it may seem really odd, I am going to put turquoise, turquoise on this. And then what I'm going to do is once this sets in, and that'll take, I think it's about a half an hour, it'll take to set it up. Then we can add the, what they call, I call it gold, they're calling it buttercup. So there you go. It's not gold, it's it's a buttercup, but it's a really pretty and a very vibrant, I'm going to call it gold. We'll go by buttercup, but I'm going to call it gold. So here we go. So this is what the turquoise looks like. That's a pretty, they're all really, they're intense colors. They're very pretty colors. And yeah, just mix this like, so mix these up well, they do settle. And then I just want to show you quickly how easy it is to apply these using a paintbrush. I've been finding trying to use markers on these trees a bit of a challenge. And so what I'm loving about these, and I'm kind of hoping I can find some more, is the ease of putting these on. You don't need a lot unless well, all I've been doing is taking a little bit and putting on a brush. And I say a little, I mean a little. And then I'm just, and I want to make sure you can see this. See, I'm just like, I'm just dabbing it over top, you know, sort of brushing it in wherever it, you know, lands, not, you know, caring too much about that. And yeah, just, this is all I'm doing. Light coat. If I think it's too heavy somewhere, I am, you know, moving it around. I'm not really too concerned where it lands. You know, to some extent, right? I mean, I'm trying to stay on the raised sections of this, but you know, if it gets in some of the flat areas, hey, that's totally cool as well. But this is all I'm doing. And you could do a second coat once this has dried if you wanted to. I've been finding one coat is giving it enough of a, uh, 3D effect if you want. I'm not even sure if that's what you'd want to call it. But it's just it's just enough to just I don't know. It adds something to the piece. You just have to get the right color. So I kinda wanna I kinda wanna I would like to find some other colors. And as I say, this this stuff stinks. I'm not gonna lie to you, it stinks. So work in a well ventilated area, please. So the, I mean, if you're sensitive to smell and really strong stuff, I would even recommend a, a respirator just so that you're not uh, breathing it in too much. So yeah, I mean, this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to quickly finish this up. It tends, yeah, I would give it 30 minutes. It may dry a little quicker than that, but definitely give it time to dry in between putting coats on it. If you want to put either another color on top or if you are wanting to put uh, a second coat of the color you're using. But this is, swear, this is so much easier than what I've been trying to do with my markers. Because some of the markers I've got, they're just, they're making more of a mess of the piece than they're really helping me out. So I'm just, and I like the antique look to it. I think because of the pattern on this, it reminds me of Victorian. And so Victorian has a, you know, a certain look to it. And yeah. 
that's that's all I got to say about this. I just was quite excited when I started putting this on some of my pieces and I've actually the skeleton I had done in the previous video I've done some of these colors on them and it's just it just adds it just gives it something that I haven't been able to find with other stuff that I've been using. So I'm going to maybe see if I can't. I got these at Michael's too, just to let you know. I got them at Michael's. And I might, I'm trying to think. I don't think they're in the store I go to. I think these have come from uh, one of the other stores in the city. So that's something. Uh, check with your store before you, you know, go running out hoping to find this stuff. And I'll have to check because I don't think... I don't think my Michaels had them. So yeah, check their website because they're very, very quick to tell you what's not at your store. I wish I wish they had everything. It, it's disappointing sometimes like, oh, well, that's not here. You're going to have to go here. And I'm not like the closest or, or the closest. The closest Michaels to me is a half an hour away. And then the next one's about an hour and a half. Well, an hour, one's an hour and the other one's an hour and a half. And uh, it'd be like sometimes you just wish they had everything at every store. I guess there's, I mean, they can't because there'd be too many things, but, but you know, I'll just leave it there. Alrighty. So it's kind of, I was a little concerned about doing, I have to admit, I was a little concerned about doing the turquoise on this because I, ooh, you know, you got dark blue and then you, what are you doing putting turquoise on this? But I think it's going it, to, again, it's kind of going to help with that whole, let's, let's be a little antique-ish. So I'm just going to clean that off on my paper towels over here. As I said, I think it needs something stronger. A wet wipe won't do it for you, just so you know. So, I mean, it gives it a bit of a glow. It just, it just adds to it. I love it. I love that I'm doing this. Again, turquoise may not have been the color, but antique-ish. So once that is set, we can come back and add some of the gold to it. And again, it'll be just, you know, brushing it on lightly. It doesn't have to be everywhere. Just to sort of add to the whole antique look. And I could have done a little bit more with this because I have a green, not this kind of shade uh, when I say that. It doesn't have the pearlescent in it. It's just green. Uh, and it's it's kind of an intense green. So I don't know if it would have worked on this, but anyway. So let's let this sit. Let's let this dry and then we'll come back and we'll put some of the buttercup on it. Just to keep them happy, I will call it buttercup. I believe we are ready to carry on. I have mixed up the buttercup. <laughs> Don't want to call it gold. want to go with buttercup. I also brought out my white mat and I did that so you could have a better view of this piece. So let me just move this off to the side and then I can lift it up without my black gloves. Just so you can maybe see the piece a little bit better on a lighter color. And I'll just sort of twist it a little bit for you so hopefully you can see some of that turquoise that's on it. And it's probably been sitting for about 45 minutes now. So what we're going to do is we're going to, the same process basically with the buttercup. I wanted to call it gold but it's buttercup. <laughs> and I also went to see if my Michael store has any of this uh, Peebo PBO. Again, don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or wrong. They don't, the store that's an hour away from me doesn't, but I know the store that's an hour and a half away from me does. So it's just on, you know, how far do I want to drive to get the product? Okay. As we did with the last, all we're going to do is the same thing with this buttercup. And we're going to, I might take a little bit less because I don't want to make it too much of a drastic change. And let's just just gently rub some on the star because why not? 
and then we'll just like kind of gently do it and I'm gonna probably take more of this off and just do a little less on it because I, I want the gold yes but I don't want to lose all of so the turquoise we put on because that kind of defeats the purpose so we're gonna be a little a little gentler with the gold and just kind of you know in random sort of spots kind of brush it on a little bit and again I mean that's a it's a preference right like how how much of the color do you want on it how like what's what are you going for I think that's something you got to figure out at the beginning when you're working on this and this gold will bring up the turquoise a little bit you know and kind of give it a different look look to it so yeah you just you know you do what you do you I haven't said that in a long time Tim Holtz you do you whatever you know floats your boat whatever you think will look nice again I just I want to highlight it but I don't want I don't want the gold to take over I want the blues to be the focal point of this and so it'll be you know a lot less time consuming because we are being uh, less generous with the gold because we don't need as much of it but again personal preference what's the look what are you trying to accomplish and I guess the other thing too is who is your audience who is it you're making this for that's the other thing I mean I see it's kind of interesting because I see my generation and what would have been my parents generation you know this being a really cool a really cool piece I mean when I with the green one I mean I thought of my mom immediately uh, she loved to decorate but she was I mean she was old school and so you know things were I don't want I don't want to say everything was Victorian but it kind of that era of you know subtle but stylish and uh, yeah so we're not going to do a lot of gold I think she would approve of that and we're just going to do enough to sort of as I say just kind of highlight it but I, I can only speak for me I, I kind of like that I'm only doing a little bit of highlighting in general and just and then just think of the light catching it right it's not it's not too harsh it's just well for me it would just be right some spots have a little bit more than others and that's you know totally cool so I would love if you would comment below on what you think of this is this something that's too too subtle too ornate too Victorian for you or is this something you could see yourself doing to add just a, just that little added touch to the pieces you're doing and I think with you know the amount I'm putting like there might be a piece that comes up where I you know decide that yeah you got to put a lot more on it than what you're doing Natalie but for some of this I just want to add a little bit to it without it taking over I had a spot where I wanted to put some and I kind of lost it <laughs> and then you can pounce it with the brush which is I love the brush because it, do, it does really make it easier to apply the markers like I said even the the other markers I was being a little bit challenged by them the chrome markers they were even giving me a bit of a run for my money so this just being able to tap this in place brilliant now if I wanted to and I mean not in this video but I could add a little bit more of the gold to it if I wanted to but I think as it is now 
it's just it's just right as it is now so let me just move this aside do that just so you can see the gold on again I didn't do a lot on this I didn't really want to so hopefully you can see the gold in that no problem Throw it that way I I am a little disappointed that the the glitter powder I put on that really didn't show up all that well I mean I can kind of see it but it didn't come out now maybe if I hadn't been doing this blue it would have come out more so so maybe I, I chose the wrong color but I had a blue theme in mind for this anyway that is it for this piece for this video I hope you've enjoyed it I hope it's given you some new ideas on you know potential products to work with I do love the paintbrush being able to just you know put in some paint and then dot it around versus trying to get a marker to do that like this is working a lot better for me and you know maybe at some point I'll get to the Michael store that has it or see what I can find online at Amazon or someplace like that anyway thank you for joining me if you comment thank you very much thank you for liking and subscribing I hope you're having a great creative day whatever you're doing take care bye for now